Welcome back to the New Orleans Jazz Museum. We're happy to have you all here after a long hiatus. Um, it's great to be back in our Prime Examples of Excellence in Music series. Uh, I, right before I turn it over to our sponsor this evening with the um, Musicians Council on Fair Wages and over to our amazing musicians, I just want to make a couple quick announcements coming up. Um, we have an exhibit opening for Zach Smith, um, a photography artist that will be with us. That is going to happen on December 3rd. It will be free, open to the public. In December 4th, I would really be happy for you all to join us and join Jelani, who is here tonight, and join Jesse, who is hiding over here in the corner, who will be performing at our Improvisations Gala. We have an amazing lineup of music coming to you. Uh, George Porter Jr. Is, will be headlining, um, and an amazing other bands, as well as these gentlemen here that you'll be able to see. So I'm going to turn it over to John, give you all a little bit about the Musicians Council on Fair Wages, and then uh, start our evening. Thanks, Caitlin. My name is John Olson. I'm the Executive Director of the Musicians Council on Fair Wages. Um, we're happy to co-sponsor uh, this Prime Examples of Excellence in Music series uh, with financial assistance from the Jazz and Heritage Foundation. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a minute since we've done this. Uh, there was a little wind, a little rain, no power, insurance, my fence. Um, we got out of it uh, fairly late, but uh, glad I could uh, get back here, that all of you can get back here. And uh, we were very happy to sponsor this series. This is, I think, the last concert that our organization is helping to sponsor. There's one more concert. The National Park yes. Association is sponsoring that one. And we'll be here for that. And the date is? December 9th. December 9th. Um, but you don't have to listen to me talk then. So. Um, the Musicians Council on Fair Wages is uh, formed to help musicians uh, in New Orleans and Louisiana bridge the economic gap. And what gap is that, you may ask? The one between all the money that's spent here for tourism and seeing music uh, versus what they actually get to take home. Uh, so we are uh, still engaged in that work, uh, figuring out our way forward. Um, it is not a problem that's going to be solved overnight and hasn't been solved yet. So we uh, have some work to do. But tonight, we don't have to worry about that. Tonight we're going to be uh, entertained by these fine gentlemen. And I'm going to turn it over to Jesse McBride to introduce the band and tell us why he can't stay. <laughs> oh, why well, I, I could stay? That, that's that's not a. But part of um, <clears throat> me curating this series, it's a uh, same thing that happened to me with uh, my mentor Harold Baptiste that <clears throat> created the band. That is kind of the impetus of all of these young folk. And I say that loosely because they're not as young as they used to be, as none of us are. But I've known Thomas since he was, well, he wasn't actually ever smaller than me, but he was uh, younger. And uh, he was in maybe sixth or seventh grade, maybe. When, when we do lunch, maybe it was that seventh or eighth grade, I don't remember. And, and Henry Green, I met him as a green freshman at uh, Tulane. He could barely hold that. But actually, he's playing bass tonight, which is, we won't even talk about that. He's phenomenal guitarist and bassist. And I forget when me and Jelani met, maybe about seven years ago, something like that. Oh, so, holy sh let me be quiet. So that's about 15, 16 years ago, but, oh, that's right, I remember this now. Okay, well that's what happens when you get old. Anyway, uh, no one in here understands what I'm talking about about that, and all you guys are about 25 and under, so I just really want to thank the Mint for continuously supporting the projects that have been my passion for over the last 20 years. And um, uh, one of my band members, and I say former now because he's kind of grown past ne what the Next Generation concept. It's about growing and going. Once you get there, it's time for you to get out of the band. I gotta give somebody else an opportunity to grow. And that's Mr. Christian Bold, who initiated this conversation with the Mint and, and Caitlin and all of the sponsors. And I just, I'm just so grateful to have this time to feature these cats. And um, I know you'll enjoy them. And um, yeah, I do have to run, but I'm sure you'll be just fine. You're in great hands.
Henry Green, Thomas Glass, Jelani Bauman, Black American Music. Thank you.
How you guys are doing? Good. All right. That was uh, started things off with a uh, impromptu interpretation of a, of a classic composition.
positioned by the great Ellis Marcellus Jr. entitled uh, Swinging at the Haven. And um, yeah, it's great to be here. It's great to be playing in the spirit of the prime example. Uh, I first started playing with the next generation on a consistent basis in 2015. I just moved back from uh, living in New York and Jesse uh, was like, man, you want to join a band? I was like, cool. And man, that that time in my life, for like from 2015 to 2017, just playing with Thomas and Henry and all the other uh, great musicians who were, who were there at that time was uh, irreplaceable. Uh, I can't pay any, I couldn't I can't put a price to that time in my life being able to uh, play with you play with Jesse play with these guys and girls and um, it w we it pushed me to to new levels of in, of uh, vulnerability and intensity and growth just being on that stage and sometimes you know the gig was from like seven to eleven or eight to twelve at times and sometimes we would barely take a break so that time in my life is so special and it's 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 really a uh, it's still like a sad thing to see Prime not being in existence at the moment, um, or not for now. And but it's it's great to be on, on the stage with my brothers and, and be here presenting this music, uh, this spirit to you guys. Um, we're going to keep things going and do a, uh, a classic standard that we used to play a lot, entitled uh, "Autumn Leaves." Thank you. 
know this is going to be like an interactive thing, so if you have any any questions or any comment, any anything you're interested in, in uh, having a little dialogue about, in the course of the performance, we are here to to engage with you. So you know, feel free to be family. Um, we're going to keep things going with uh, another song that we pl we played a lot uh, during the prime example days. Um, a, a really uh, great composition by the phenomenal overall artist uh, James Black. If you weren't familiar with familiar with James Black, uh, James Black is a New Orleans native, native uh, great drummer, one of the great composers, not just in New Orleans music, but just in music in general. His compositions are uh, wildly unique, but still very uh, inside of just what came before him and informed by that. Uh, James Black is uh, somebody I feel like still doesn't get enough recognition, but playing these, playing the, playing his music and music of Harold Baptiste and Elvis Marcellus and uh, Alvin Red Tyler and, and, and Alvin Baptiste, we, uh, it's, it was, it was uh, such a transformative experience and being able to learn that music and to go to other places uh, around the country, around the world and, and realize how especially in the country, because I think this, the special thing about uh, the New Orleans uh, modern music scene is that you, you're, in a, you're in a scene where the, where the city has its own unique repertoire. Like, you go to different cities, and you don't always find uh, situations where the musicians of that certain particular community are, are carrying on and, and performing the, the, the comp compositions and contributions of uh, the, the pioneers of, of that particular city. Um, the, um, so the fact that we have an institution like the Next Generation, people like Jesse McBride and, and people before him like Harold Baptiste who made such a great emphasis on encouraging and, and, mo and inspiring young gener younger, younger artists to learn this music and appreciate this music and carry on the music to the next generations that come after us. Uh, it's, it's really a blessing that that I never, you know, take for granted, and you know, uh, it's just am it's amazing right now. I get to share these stories with you guys, and hopefully, you guys can, uh, you know, take it to to your to your friends and loved ones and share this information, and that's how we keep it going. But uh, the song we're gonna play is, um, like I said, it's by James Black, and it's entitled "Little Boy Band."
All right. A little body and soul. So we're going to keep things going into the unknown.
give a shout out to the other cats, to the cats on the command stand. Give it up for Thomas Glass on the drums. <laughs> this is the man right here, man. You gotta hear this cat sing if you haven't already. This is the man, man. I love this cat. And Mr. Uh, Henry Green. So Henry has a nickname. I don't know how he got it, but he's they call him Risky Business. <laughs> I guess you know Tom Cruise. Yeah, what's the story, Henry? It's a long story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's all the way I got it was in a school ride with Tom. <laughs> but uh, it's one of those things where you just kind of, kind of grow into it, you know. <laughs> you live up. You have to live up to the hype. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 a the story isn't even worth mentioning. But um, but uh, yeah, that is that is what a select few call me. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thank y'all for being here. It's we're having fun playing for y'all. <laughs> Risky biz. Cool. So we're gonna we're pretty much uh, we're almost finished. We got one more tune. Any questions? Any, questions? any any thoughts? Any any insight? Any, no, no. Great. <laughs> All right. We thank you. Thank you. But um, yeah, man, this was a blast. I'm glad this was this was able to uh, to happen, and we're gonna we're gonna close out with one more good one. And um, yeah, if you want to talk to us afterwards, you know we'll be around for a bit.
Columbus Glass on the drums. Henry Green, Risky Biz on the bass guitar. My name is Jelani Akil Bowman. I'm on the trumpet today. Thank you to the New Orleans Jazz Museum, Caitlin, all the homies representing. Thanks to sponsors. Thank you guys for coming and, and being a part of this moment in our lives. And uh, yeah, we hope look to see you soon. And yeah, come back for the gala on December 4th. If you're around, come through. George Porter. Uh, I'll be playing Gabrielle Cavazza, some other great people. It's going to be a magical night. I can't wait. And again, yeah, December 9th, come back for that. Come back you know, every day and support <laughs> and donate and keep this going. Have a good evening. <laughs>